Hi, it's Nicola Humber here, leader of and soul mentor to Unbound Women or Unbinding Women, women who are unbinding themselves from all of these old stories and beliefs about who and how we should be in the world so that you can live a more fully expressed life. Uh, and I wanted to do, do a tapping routine today using EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique, to support you and help you to move through any times when you're slipping into self-sabotage. And self-sabotage can manifest in lots of different ways. We're extremely creative as unbound women, so we can find lots of different ways to sabotage ourselves. And this is something that I see coming up time and time again um, in my community of unbound women, and also obviously with myself, um, because we can always reach new levels where we kind of come up against our edge and we fall back into self-sabotage. So I wanted to give you a really simple way when you notice that happening for yourself to move through it. And I also want to celebrate you if you are noticing that you're coming up against self-sabotage, because one, that means you're coming, you're kind of elevating to a new level. You're kind of stretching yourself in some way. You're moving out of your comfort zone because that's when self-sabotage kind of comes up for us. So go you for doing that. We don't fall into self-sabotage when we're just sticking with the familiar. So the very fact that you're noticing this shows that you are becoming more unbound and you're challenging yourself to be more fully expressed in the world in one way or another. So yep, go you. And two, the very fact that you're noticing it shows a level of self-awareness, which is key when you're walking the unbound path, because we always want to be noticing those places where we are kind of falling back into what I call the bound place, this place where we are bound by all of these old stories and beliefs about how and who we should be. And the very fact that you're noticing that you're self-sabotaging is you know, that's something to be celebrated because awareness is always the first step to change. So again, go you. Um, saying that, it's great to have something that will help you to move through it. Very often, just acknowledging that you're self-sabotaging is going to help to free something up and help you to, to move forwards. But the tool um, that I'm going to be sharing with you today, tapping EFT, is a really simple and powerful tool to help you move through anything that's coming up. So I'm gonna be sharing a really simple routine with you today. You can tap along with me. If you've never used EFT before, tapping, that's fine. It's really, really simple. Um, it's just kind of tapping on various points on the body. It's kind of like emotional acupuncture. And what it does, any feelings, any emotion, any sensations, um, any thoughts or kind of beliefs or worries or doubts that are, are arising, it gives us the opportunity to one, acknowledge and voice them. But as we're tapping, it helps all of that to move through us and it helps us to release it and to change our state so we can move forwards in a more resourceful and more potent way and we need more unbound women to be moving forwards in a potent way um, you know that's definitely what the world requires at the moment so anything we can use to help ourselves to do that then um, you know I want to be sharing that with you so let's get into it this routine is going to help you if you have noticed that you're falling into self-sabotage if it feels like you keep reaching a certain point and then pulling back from it because there's some fear or doubt you know maybe you find yourself stuck in the same situation over and over again and it's really frustrating for you you can't seem to move through it you know this can show up you know if you run your own business, many unbound women have made that bold and beautiful decision to run their own businesses because basically they're unemployable. <laughs> I'm not one of those. Um, you know, maybe it's when it comes to creating income in your business and asking for money in exchange for what you do. Maybe there's some fear around that where you fall into self-sabotage um, or maybe it's around visibility 
being more visible visible in your business or in your life in general, kind of expressing yourself in the way that you want to. Maybe it's around creating something. You know, you have this idea, a project or some kind of thing that you want to create and manifest into reality. You want to ground those ideas in reality, but you never you can never seem to get past a particular point. Whatever form the self-sabotage is taking, this tapping routine is going to help. So let's get into it. So what we do with tapping is we start off from this point, which is called the karate chop point. So we're going to karate chop that self-sabotage now. <laughs> and we're going to say something called the setup statement. So I just want you to tap along and repeat the words after me. It might feel a bit silly if you haven't done it before. Um, it is a bit, bit of a strange <laughs> technique, to be honest. It can feel a bit weird, but you are going to feel much better afterwards. Okay. And like I said, it's a really simple tool you can use for yourself. So go with it. Humor me. Okay. So as I said, we're going to say something called the setup statement where we acknowledge exactly what it is that we're experiencing. And we combine that with an affirmation of love and acceptance. So just repeat the words after me, tap round and see how you feel afterwards. Okay. So even though I keep falling into self-sabotage, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I keep finding myself stuck at this same place, over and over again, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel like I can't move forwards, It's like there's something blocking me. And I know that comes from within. And that makes it even more frustrating. In this moment, I choose to send love and acceptance to all the different parts of myself. That's good. Okay, so now we're going to start tapping around the, the point. So we're going to start at the top of the head, crown of the head. And you can't get this wrong. Okay, just a gentle, gentle but firm tap. And we're just going to say some words as we tap around on these points to keep us focused on what it is we're tapping on. So like I said, just follow along with me. Say the words after me. all of this self-sabotage, the beginning of the eyebrow, keep falling into self-sabotage, side of the eye, it's like I can't move forwards, into the eye, I keep sabotaging myself, Under the nose. It's like a part of me wants to hold back. On the chin. So much fear around this. Just on the collarbone. And I'm not even sure what that fear is. Just under the arms, just where your bra strap would be. I'm so frustrated right now. So we're going to go around the points again. Because I keep self-sabotaging. I know what I want to do. I keep holding back in some way. I 
It's like I'm stuck in mud. And I can't seem to move forwards. I'm so creative when it comes to self-sabotage. I'm a genius when it comes to self-sabotage. I can find so many ways to hold myself back. And I'm so frustrated with myself right now. Because there is so much I want to create in the world. There's so much I want to express and do. I want to make a big impact. And I want to experience abundance as I do that. But I keep getting stuck in self-sabotage. It's like everything I want to do or say just gets stuck here in my throat. It's like I, I can't let it out. And I feel all of this frustration and fear in my body. I'm so done with this. Because I know I'm here to make a difference. I know I'm here to be one of those people who is creating new ways in the world. And there's at least a part of me that knows how much I have to offer. And I'm holding myself back right now. It's like I'm scared of stepping into my own magnificence. And did I really just say that I'm magnificent? I did, because I am. And I have so much to offer to the world. There's a part of me that knows that. And I acknowledge all of the parts of me that are in fear or doubt right now. And I can choose to move forwards anyway. Because this self-sabotage is simply a manifestation of the old stories I've been told and the old stories I've been telling myself. And I'm done with those old stories. I'm ready to move forward in the most potent way now. Because I choose to be fully expressed in the world. I didn't come here to hold back. I came here to be my fullest, freest self. I came here to create in the most powerful and magical way.
And that's what I'm choosing to do now. Because it is a choice. I'm choosing to let go of self-sabotage now. That's good. So just taking a deep breath right down into your belly. Lovely releasing breath out. Just notice how you feel. Notice how you feel in your body. And being curious about anything that came up for you as you were tapping around there. Were there any statements that um, particularly resonated with you? And you can choose to use this tapping routine, you know, as part of your, your daily practice or certainly when you notice those times when self-sabotage is rearing its head, you know, come back to this tapping routine. But like I said, it's a great one to do daily you know, to keep you in your most magical, potent state because, you know, this is what's required of us at these times. And it's completely natural for these fears and doubts to arise because you're creating new ways. But, you know, remember that you have these tools that you can draw on to support you. So you will find lots of other um, tapping routines um, on my YouTube channel. So you can take a look at those. And, you know, this has given you an idea if you've never used it before how to use this tool so you know you can use it for yourself just kind of voicing exactly what's coming up for you as you tap around the points that i've shown you today you can't get this wrong and if you have any questions or comments please post them below this video and i will come back and answer them okay so here's to being your fullest freest most magnificent unbound self i'll see you again soon